Hello again and welcome back to our course on Project 2019 Advanced. In this section I'm going to take a look at cost accrual and this may well be something that you're very familiar with if you've been using Project for a while but for some people who perhaps aren't very familiar with accounting practices cost accrual can seem a little bit of a mystery. So what I've done in this section is to create a sort of dummy project. It's just got five tasks in it and I've also created a few resources as well. The resources have different accrual methods, so resources one to three are pro rata resource four accrues at the start, and resource five accrues at the end. Now, when a cost accrues, that's basically the point in time at which the accounting function associated with a project recognizes that the cost has been incurred. And generally speaking, people recognize how cost accrual works, for example, in terms of labor costs. So you would normally prorate labor costs over the course of the task in which the labor is employed. Of course, there are always some exceptions. And with some of the less usual costs associated with a project, it's important to recognize exactly when the accrual will occur, particularly as some of the costs might be quite large figures. So it's not possible for me or indeed anybody else to say costs are always accrued in this way or that way. But what is important is to understand how cost accrual actually works within Project 2019. So when you enter a task or a resource or you set up a resource assignment, it's important to understand the consequence of the accrual method that applies in that case. Now, at the moment, as you can see, I have no costs incurred at all on this project. In fact, there are no costs associated with the project at all. I haven't assigned any fixed costs or resources to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to assign a fixed cost for task A. And the fixed cost for task A is going to be $100. And the accrual method for that is going to be at the start. Now for task B, I'm also going to have a fixed cost and that is also going to be $100. And this one is going to be pro rata. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the project tab and I'm going to set a status date on this project to today and click on OK. Now what you'll see is that task A is now in effect 20% complete, so one fifth of the work is done. But the actual cost there, of course, is the full amount of the fixed cost, which is accrued at the start of task A. So the actual cost for task A is currently $100, and the remaining cost is $0. And basically what happens with a cost that is accrued at the start is that as soon as the task has an actual start date, so as soon as you record any progress, which causes an actual start date to be recorded, then the cost is accrued. All of that cost is accrued. For task B, however, where the fixed cost is pro rata, we've done one tenth of the task. So one tenth of the duration of the task is complete. And so we have incurred one tenth of the fixed cost. So the actual is $10 and the remaining is $90. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the five tasks and assign one of the resources to each of the tasks. So resource one to task A, resource two to task B, and so on. So join me again in a moment when I've done that. So having made those assignments, you can see the effects on the cost. For task A, for example, of course, we've incurred the whole of the fixed cost for task A, which was accrued at the start. But now we also have eight hours of work at $50 an hour for resource one, whose cost is accrued pro rata throughout the project. For task B, we've accrued just one tenth of the fixed cost, so that's $10. But we've had 80 hours of work from resource two, and resource two's 80 hours at $60 an hour, that's $4,800, etc. Task D, Task D, we have an actual cost of $100. Bear in mind that the resource four that's assigned there doesn't have an hourly rate, only has a cost per use, and that is accrued at the start. Whereas for task E, 
Resource 5 also doesn't have an hourly rate. It has a cost per use, but that is also accrued at the end, so there is no actual cost so far. So it's important to understand how this accrual works. I'll just make one other change. I have one other point to make here if you like. If we go back to the resource sheet and change resource two so that the cost is accrued at the start. And then go back to the Gantt chart. And you'll see that the cost that's already accrued for task B is a pretty large amount. So we're talking about 80 hours at $60 an hour. So that's $4,800. And then we have $10, which is one tenth of the fixed task cost. The fixed task cost, of course, accrued pro rata. So basically, that's how accrual works. But let me just finish this section by referring you to the project options. So let's go to File options and go to the schedule page and right at the bottom there is an option that says default fixed cost accrual and the default is pro rata you can of course change that to one of those other options and just above that another setting you may not be familiar with actual costs are always calculated by project some people prefer to do all of the work on actual costs themselves, so they uncheck this box and then they calculate actual costs rather than let project use the sort of methods you've seen in this section to calculate actual costs as you go along. So that's it on accrual. In the next section, we're going to look at budget costs, so please join me for that.